Hey folks, welcome to Tully River Quail. Just wanted to share with you uh, a little trick we use when we turn the egg laying back on. Um, in October, we give our hens a little bit of time, our breeders a little bit of time to stop laying, but when we turn them back on by adjusting the lighting, which you see we have external lighting here, and once we give them back the 14 to 16 hours of lighting, we start to get the egg laying back. You'll get one, then you'll get two, the next day maybe three, maybe four, until they're all starting to lay again in about a week. Now, that time when they start to lay, the males are also not, I guess juicy would be a word to call them, where they're not really ready to get going and start having the, making, making the love so uh, until they get ready to go and on the same cycle, you will have a lot of eggs that aren't fertilized. So what I like to do during this time is I'll run hatches, but I will mark the cages and mark the eggs from where they came from just to make sure I don't need to swap out a male or something here. So you see, I've collected a lot of the eggs. I have one in here. But you can see that I have my cages marked. This is 2A. You can see that's 2B. So the eggs that come from that will be marked. Like here's one here. I'll write on this one. This is 4B. So I'll just write on the, the big end, the fat end. Because that's where the airspace is. It would have less ability to contact the egg. Um, but just for an example here. This is from 3A. So then when I run the incubator, I will have a uh, notebook that has, so I'll collect 20 eggs a day from here. All right, and then I will have a notebook of how many eggs came from which section, which breeder pen. And then if let's say 4A, none of the eggs hatch, then I know that, that male isn't active. So I'll swap him out or get him going somehow but anyway that's just a way that we can determine which one of these cage sets if they're all working if everybody's having a good time um, here's my extra breeder mail I have in here that I'll put in and swap him out with somebody that might not be working um, you also notice that in the winter time you can get away with having less hens in your cage sets um, in the spring, the male will be pretty rambunctious when it comes to making the love. So they'll oversex two or three birds where if you have four or five in there, then the sexual pressure won't get too concentrated on one bird. But in the wintertime, their drive slows down. They're pretty much worried about eating and staying warm. So... You can get away with having less birds. You increase the fertility rate that way. And uh, it's just something that you can consider. So you see some of these cages have two with one male. Some of them have three. I still have some five on ones. But uh, there's one of our pandas. Oh, buddy. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you. Over and out. Stay free. Tully River Quail.